my friends. Today we're in beautiful Belize. We're enjoying a cave tubing adventure and we're going to show you all around this port stop. So enjoy the day with us and welcome to Living Phase 2. So Belize is a tender port. You can see all of the, the water taxis or the tenders there. And uh, so any uh, shore excursions you take, you'll come here to the main shore excursion area, which like most in the Caribbean or has lots of different shopping areas and whatnot. And uh, you'll then meet up with your tours and go on your adventure. Just in line for our uh, cave tubing adventure. So here we are in uh, Belize. We're doing cave tubing. Uh, it's one of the more popular excursions here, and uh, we've uh, just arrived. You take a little uh, a little short bus up to the general area where they have lockers, bathrooms, etc. In fact, I'll show you just here a little bit. And uh, you get a locker, you store your stuff off, and then you're left with just uh, having uh, whatever you're going to take in there. You do need water shoes. Yes, you do. Yeah. yeah don't bring flip-flops. Nope. So you need some kind of water shoe, closed-toed shoe. And uh, other than that, we're going to take you on into the cave adventure. Yeah, that'd be fun. Good with a life jacket, right? Everybody okay with a life jacket? Mm -hmm. Come across inside the jungle, so you look around, all right? Yes, man. Enjoy the view. We start with this one right here. This one is known as the Wahali, the ancient Maya, even the modern Maya today. We come to the forest to look for it so that we can provide the tamales for you. All right? <laughs> this is the good stuff. All right? All the good stuff lies right here inside the forest. They wrap the tamales in it and it gives the tamales a nice flavor. I guess where you from, uh, you stand on the stairs and the stairs take you guys, right? Yeah. Escalators. <laughs> That's the reason why I say this is a part of your workout for today. We have nine of them venomous, alright? So, we don't really like to talk about them, but we have, yeah. We have the yellow jaw, hamiga, we have the fertilance, snakes. Yeah? Nice, so, nice. Yeah, just be on the lookout, but again, normally we will have a full inspection where we conduct these type of tours, especially inside the cave system, so that we know that it's safe. A circular inside this area, please. All right, we want to keep this area for future generations. We want to avoid touching, ladies and gentlemen. All right, as, as we go through the cave system, you'll see some area is disturbed and it's dying, all right? Our pump inside carry oily substance. We touch the formation that is eventually just gonna lose its life. It's like the corals, all right? Yes, man. Yeah, we got bats. Go right ahead, turn on your headlights. Careful with the head, careful with the back. If you do get anything, please careful with the back.
You got it. Hi, young okay. lady. Hi, how are you? I'm good, young lady. And okay. yourself? Yes, good. Thank All you. All right. Oh, you're hooking us together. Oh, that's, yeah. Hello. That's how we... That's good. That's how we roll, you know? That's great. One big happy family all together. <laughs> this is how we move this ship. <laughs> Normally, this is the ratio in Belize, eight per guide. So, yeah. Well, hello. Yeah. Everybody good? Yeah. Me too. How's the water? Oh, nice. That's really refreshing, right? It's good. Yes, it's good. Uh, yes, it's good. Okay, Shibala means help. Alright? Mayas believe that this is the entrance to the underworld, so welcome to help. Alright, this is the chandelier formation because it just looks like a chandelier. Use your imagination as we go along. Alright? Alright. Yes, smile. Oh, welcome to hell again. Alright? Yes, um, Now inside this area, the Maya has been utilizing this area for several hundred years. For what? Ceremonial purposes only. We bring back to the Maya gods. The Maya believe in many gods. So we have two types of parts of the inside the cave system. We got insect parts and we got the food in this We have a little bit of catfish, a little bit of mudfish. But like I said, <laughs> not in abundance. Bravo. Just a second. Everybody okay? Yep, okay. Alright, let me see. No. Growth of this formation, a hundred year per cubic inch form. Oh wow. Hundred year per cubic inch. Alright? So you can look at a formation and try to do the knots wow. behind that. Alright? If it's a column or a pillar, that one will take thousands, even millions of years to form. That's the one from the roof to floor. Mm -hmm. Alright? Remember, stalactite comes down, a might goes up. Tight, it's tight to the roof. A might might reach the roof. A column or a pillar that's sitting together. All right? Yes, man. Beautiful formation, eh? Mm -hmm. You see? We still have droplets coming in. All right? All right, we can still find the clay. The clay that they made the pottery is still intact inside this cave system. All right? We can go deeper. We can go like eight, seven miles within this cave system. All the way in. All right? So we got a little bit of pottery right here. All right, this is the pottery that's limestone growing up on. All right. Huh. That's interesting. I want you to compare whenever you drop up on the other side. Watch clearly what happens whenever you touch the formation. Come on over on this side, you see the formation is blooming. You spot your light. Alright? Take a picture. You want to burn here, but no touching, right? We classify this area as the coral reef bed. As majority of it look like corals. Alright? Of course, we're all adults here. That's beautiful. You broke in your eyes. See the difference touching? Yeah. And you see other no touching. There. <laughs> the fertility, the fertility formation. <laughs> Boy, that's what met. Okay. You should go first. Go ahead. So this one is the frozen waterfall. Alright? To the bottom here, that would look like a nose with a little bit of mustache to the bottom. Alright? Use your imagination again. Alright? So this one is the frozen waterfall. Alright? 
All right, let's step down with me now. Watch the step. Sit down. Where you were seated, you were seated on a green cube. Let's do it back on a green cube. If you were on a yellow tube, please. You got it. Plop down. You got it? Hello. Having fun on the cave tubing adventure. Now we get, we're here at the Blue Lagoon pretty much. Alright. Over these stairs up on that side, that's the Blue Lagoon. Okay? That's where I give you the privilege to go for that one here swing. I'm swimming. <laughs> Swimming? Swimming. Oh, oh, sorry. Alright, buddy. Swimming, no problem. Go for it. Alright, bud. Go for it. First time I've ever swam in a cave. Or tubed in a cave. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it's a little chilly. Mm -hmm. Look up there, Nancy, how beautiful that is. Well, that was quite an adventure. That was a lot of fun. I yeah. had a great time. Yeah, I did as well. And it just, it just, it met all my expectations. Uh, I, I just, it was gorgeous, beautiful, fun. Yeah, it really okay. checked all the boxes for what a cruise ship shore excursion really should be. It did, it did, it ticked the boxes. Yeah, so. uh, what was your favorite thing about it? You know, really the, the beauty. It mm -hmm. was truly beautiful down there in the caves. What yeah. about yours, Mike? Yeah, I, I would say the same, going through the jungle, going into the caves and just, uh, I. I've always been kind of a cave geek my whole life. I, when I was a child, my folks, I used to make them stop at all the little caves as we're going through the Ozarks. And so we've probably toured almost every cave in America. And this just, uh, it, it was right up my alley. It was something that I really enjoyed. And getting to swim in the cave. You know, getting to jump off the raft and swim around in the Blue Lagoon, mm -hmm. that was a lot of fun too. And hearing the the waterfall inside the cave, we, we weren't in an area where we could see it, but but we could hear it. That mm -hmm. was that was very cool. It was. The water was a little chilly, but you know what? We got used to it within yeah. a couple minutes. Oh yeah, the water. we just wore a regular bad. swimsuit, and I mm -hmm. wore a uh, and I wore a rash guard. But other than that, yeah, I don't think you need any wetsuit or anything of that nature. It's it was fine. Right. And uh, a few little tips. It is a bit of walking. You can see that from what you saw in the video. A lot of downstairs and a lot of back upstairs, a trek through the jungle. Um, the trip we took, the bus actually took us up and over the hill and into the prep area. Um, some of the tours you have to actually walk through the jungle uh, to get to that prep area. So just be aware this can uh, take a little bit of time and it is quite a bit of walking. So make sure you have the mobility and you're able to go up and down those stairs. But I think getting in and out of the tubes and all that, that was super simple. I don't was, think there was, was any any issue there. You know, and then after we finished the the tour, we had that nice lunch, and and, and it was it was tasty. 
Yeah, it was it yeah. was a chicken lunch with rice. I mean, mm -hmm. if I, I would call it a basic lunch. It's certainly not gourmet. Uh -huh. It was fine for us. Um, there's a bar. You can get a drink if you want. Mm -hmm. um, and while you're waiting for the, the tour bus, there's a swimming pool you can uh, uh, you can uh, use if you want to go just swimming. And I thought the water was colder there. It was. The water was colder <laughs> in the swimming pool than it was in the, in the cave itself. Yep. Uh, they're playing music and they play different games and stuff while you're waiting so to go back. It was fun and yeah. lively. And, mm -hmm. yeah. and also be aware it is about... Uh, it was what 45 minutes to an hour at least round trip or sorry one way from the cruise ship dock to the uh cave and then back so it's quite a bit of time on the bus uh just be aware of that as well uh any last minute suggestions or anything no that you'd like i think to recommend? they had a gift shop they were selling um rum there yeah and, and you had free tastings yeah yep mm -hmm. yep I'm just, I'm trying to hit all the points yeah, there. But, but I think per overall, um, we'd highly recommend if you've never done the cave tubing in Belize. Uh, that this, was, was cool. Absolutely. Really Put was. this on your list and make sure mm -hmm. that you uh, you add this uh, to your next shore excursion stop in Belize. Well, friends, we hope you had a good time. And as always, if this video was helpful, we'd like you to reach down, hit that like button, and uh, subscribe to our channel for many of our more phase two of life adventures. We really appreciate you, friends. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye-bye.